Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Maria and I'm back with another video. Today y'all, I am in my tool bag, okay? I have been just kind of reassessing the makeup tools I have um, since I started wearing makeup. And I'm thinking this year I want to invest in a new, kind of more, I want to say more expensive, but just more durable and a better quality a brush set so I've been going through everything I have I've done a video I'm not sure the taping of this video I don't know if I uploaded some of my other videos but today I want to do a quick everyday makeup look using my real techniques everyday essentials brush set now I did a review on this back when I first bought it and that's been well over a year ago maybe close to two years and I just want to kind of give an update in case there's anyone out there who is a beginner in makeup or you are someone, you know, just looking to kind of, you know, start your makeup journey and you have some questions about which brushes to buy because there's so many sets out there. Um, um, I know I had my Eco Tools that was a set of five brushes and then I've had the Amazon brush set, which is a set of 20 brushes. So it's kind of like, which one should I buy? Because I have the set with 20 brushes and I can tell you right now, I still don't know what to do with half of those brushes and half of them are lost and strong all over the place. It's just ridiculous. But we have the Real Techniques Essential Everyday Brush set today. And I just want to do just a recap or another review of this set. And let's see if I still like it. All right. So the Real Techniques Everyday Essentials brush kit is your one and done brush set to create professional style looks for your face cheeks and eyes it comes with the r2 to rt200 expert face brush to buff liquids or cream foundation for a flawless finish then we have the real techniques 300 brush this is the deluxe crease brush um to uh apply layers and blends cream or powder shadow can also be used to build concealer then we have the 400 brush which blends powder blush evenly for a smooth and natural look the 402 brush is a setting brush it dusts on highlighter or setting powder and then we have the miracle complexion sponge this blends liquids cream foundations into a luminous finish Use dry for full coverage or damp for a dewy glow. All right. <laughs> so here are the brushes. And this is the sponge. This set actually came with two sponges. I only have one left. The other sponge, it did eventually fall apart. <laughs> so also to know about this brush set, the five multitasking makeup tools help you create your base and apply your basics. It's best used with foundation, concealer, blush, highlighter, setting powder, and eyeshadow. Makeup brush can be used with liquid cream or powder products. So these are 100% cruelty free, latex free, vegan, and never tested on animals. So let's get started with our look today. I'm going to start out with, I'm going to be using my Tom Ford um, stick foundation. Uh, this is the Traceless Foundation Stick. And this is in the shade Chestnut. This is one of my newer foundations. And y'all, I got this on sale. I'm going to be using it with my Elf Halo Glow. Um, I just found out that using the Halo Glow with some of my foundations really creates a really nice look. So we're going to just start... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with the 200 brush. This is the foundation brush. And I'm just going to buff out that halo glow. That was quick. And now we're going to go in with our foundation.
So I could use the sponge to blend out this foundation or I could use the brush. I'm going to go ahead and use the brush. And then we'll just go ahead and use the sponge to kind of further blend everything out. All right, guys, so I have my concealer on and I have two choices to blend out the concealer. I can use the 300 brush to um, blend out the concealer or I can use the sponge. That's one thing I like about this set is that it did come with a sponge. So I'm gonna use the sponge today to blend out my concealer. All right, so the concealer is blended out and we're gonna go in with the 402 brush. This is the setting brush. So we're gonna use this to go ahead and set our concealer. I'm gonna go in with my Sephora translucent setting powder. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go in and use the sponge to continue to set the rest of my face using that same translucent powder from Sephora. Okay, so we have to bring some color back into the face because we look like a ghost. So what I'm going to do is take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm going to take the 400 brush. This is a blush brush, but I'm going to use it as a powder brush today. And you definitely can do that because it is fluffy enough to be, I mean, it's for a powder blush, so. Now, so we have our face set, but I like to do just a little bit of baking. And when it comes to baking, um, typically what the tool that I like to use in this set 
it's either the the setting brush which is again the 402 brush the 402 brush or the sponge so today I think I'm just gonna go ahead with the 402 brush and just add just a little bit of bake to my face so you can see how now you get powder everywhere but it's okay it's just powder and you can wipe it off And y'all, I think I don't mind the powder everywhere because I really love the smell of this Huda. I'm using my Huda Beauty. I love the smell of it. <laughs> Alright guys, so the one thing that this set was missing that I really, really wished it had was a bronzer brush. And so I went and I purchased a new one. So this is the Real Techniques Sculpting Contour Brush. And you can use this for your liquid contour um, liquid bronzer, powder bronzer, powder contour. And this is new, I have not even used this yet. So this is brand new, it is fluffy, but it has that slant in it, which is what I like when applying bronzer. So we're gonna go ahead and use that today. This is the 401 brush. So this is the 400 and this is the 401 brush that is sold separately. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wash, wipe this bake off using the 400 brush once more. So now before we spray everything down, we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush using the blush brush. Cause lately y'all, I have been forgetting to apply my blush after I usually, I'm, I've been applying it after I spray and I don't wanna do that. I wanna melt all of these powders together. I'm adding just a little bit more blush today than I normally would. All right, guys, so this is the fun part that I like. I'm gonna be using my Patrick Ta palette and we're gonna go in with the 300 brush and just do just a quick little basic everyday eye look. Again, this is a basic everyday look and um, I'm gonna go with one of the, let's see, warmer shades in here, let's see. So we can just start, and this is the, it's, this brush is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I will say off the bat, it is one of my favorite uh, brushes to apply eyeshadow because when it comes to eyeshadow, I'm pretty much a one and done type of person. I don't really have to do a lot of intricate eyeshadow designs because number one, I really don't know how. Number two, I don't have the patience. And number three, I just like something that is simple. When I see it on other people, of course, I look and I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. But I just don't have the desire 
to do all of that. I dipped into the wrong eyeshadow. Oh, my battery is getting ready to fit that. All right, guys, so I am finished with my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and put my eyeliner and mascara on, spray my face down, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, so I am back. Um, took my hair down. I flat ironed this hair. I don't know if I did a good job because it was curled and feathered back but I tried to make everything come down anyway so I'm back and so what we're gonna do now I finished up my eyes as you can see y'all I use my e my e Saint Laurent or YSL um, lash clash mascara this is their electric blue and y'all know how much I love this so since I had this blue shirt on today so let me just do something different with the eyes even though I went you know, with a neutral look on the eyes. And plus I have on blue nail. Y'all, y'all know I love the color blue. Hence the name of my channel, Art Girl Blue. Anyway, um, and I am so um, tempted to put on a red lip. I haven't decided yet. I was going to do the red lip or just keep it neutral. I don't know. But anyway, before we move into the lips, I want to just finish up the look by adding just a little bit of highlight. And we're going to do that today. Still with this set, y'all, we can do so much with this set. We're going to use the sponge to add just a little bit of highlight. And I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And we're just going to hit the high parts of the cheek. You can also do this with a brush. Ooh, I didn't realize how much this sponge picks up. Picks up a lot. Look at that. I like a disco ball. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, I was trying to bring some of that shine down off my forehead. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, we're just going to shine bright today. So, like I said, I wanted to do either a red lip or... We're just going to keep it neutral today. We're going to keep it neutral. So, we're just going to keep it neutral today because Valentine's Day is coming up. And I have a feeling I'm going to be doing all kind of red and pink lips. All right, guys, so I feel like my face looks extremely flawless. It looks, looks so pretty. All right, so let's just go ahead and do a quick recap of this Real Techniques Everyday Essentials brush set with the sponge. Okay, right off the bat, I love this brush set when I first bought it almost two years ago. I love it today. It is one of my favorite brushes, well, one of my favorite brush sets to use or just use the brushes individually. Um, I do find myself using the 200 brush to apply my foundation, my liquid foundations, a lot. It's pretty much my go-to foundation brush in a lot of my makeup looks. Um, it is a really nice brush. Uh, also, it's good for blending. If you need to blend out concealer, you need to blend out harsh lines, this brush does it all. So it's a really good brush to have. The um, 402 brush, this is like a, just a little small powder brush and it's used for I like to use it I actually so this brush okay I use it for two ways I use it sometimes to blend out my concealer um, but mostly I use it to set the under eye set the t-zone area it's a really good brush for that it's a good brush for applying the bake even if you wanted to use a uh, press setting powder to kind of set your under eye it's really good for that it's really good for um, applying highlighter 
I could have used that used this brush today to apply my highlighter instead of using the sponge but this is a really good cool brush um, it is one of my go-to brushes and then we have the 300 crease brush this is uh, pretty much an eyeshadow brush but you can use it to blend out concealer as well you know you can use it for different things but I do like this as an eyeshadow brush because this set is called an everyday essentials brush um, a brush set or brush kit or whatever um, I think this is a good brush to have um, to apply your eyeshadow, especially if you're like me. I don't really do a lot of intricate eye looks or anything like that. Just give me one eyeshadow, a good brush, and I can make it work. Because before I really start wearing eyeshadow, I would just wear my bronzer as my eyeshadow. And I, I'm, I'm glad I moved away from that and really got me a really good palette um, to do that with. So this is good. If you're just a one and done, if you're just a one and done type of person and you just want a good brush that's going to get all over your eyelids pretty well, then this is this is the brush for you. Uh, it's called a crease brush. Um, it definitely works in the crease, but you can also go down to the lid as well. So very good brush to have. And then we have the final brush in this set is the 400 brush. This is a blush brush, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a really, really um, fluffy brush. It's not dense at all. It's really just kind of soft and not thin, but it's not one of those densely, like thick, fluffy brushes, but it, it works well with applying the blush. Um, you can also use this as a setting to set you know with setting powder to set your entire face um but yeah if you needed to do that because there's not anything in here that will let you set the entire face so this is good well i say that but then we go to the sponges so this set came with two sponges the first sponge it y'all it broke it fell apart after so many uses now i did get my money's worth out of that sponge but it did fall apart and i don't know if you guys can see but this one is kind of falling apart as well. It's, it's been used. It's, it's well loved. So, um, but yeah, so eventually, so eventually the sponges do break down. But these are really good sponges. They are so soft. They blend everything so well. And I love the size of the sponges. I love they're really big. And this flat side just works really 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 good to blend out foundation um, any cream products liquid products you can also use it to set your um, face with powder loose powder um, pressed powder is y'all i love this sponge i would purchase this sponge by itself over and over again the final brush that is not a part of this set i had to purchase this separately this brush was about nine dollars this is the 401 sculpting brush from real techniques um, you can use this to you know blend out your contour liquid cream powder apply bronzer liquid cream powder and i use it today for the first time and i will say i do um i do like the way it applied my um it sculpted my face i like the way it sculpted my face okay so this is a really good brush it has that angle it's it's Thick. It's a dense brush, but it's fluffy at the same time, and I love that about it. So, so if you're looking for a beginner brush set, this is the set for you. It has pretty much everything in it. Um, it has the sponge. The sponge can be used for everything. You can almost use the sponge for everything. You can apply foundation. You can blend out concealer. You can set under your eyes. You can set the entire face using any type of um, loose or press setting powder you can apply highlight you can apply brush you can do everything with this sponge uh, then it has some really good essential brushes in here um, the only thing like i said i don't really like about it is that it did not come with a bronzing brush or sculpting brush but you can purchase that separately if you so choose but i love the color of the brushes i love this pink this kind of pink color it just i don't know i like that with the i like the brushes i like the color of the brushes and yeah and it's very affordable i picked this up from amazon i think i paid maybe 12 dollars for it, but you definitely can get this brush set under 20 dollars and um yeah so that's it guys all right guys so that is it for the video let me know down below what do you think do you like 
the Real Techniques brush, Everyday Essentials brush set. Is it something that you would pick up? As a beginner, I think it is perfect. It is perfect for a beginner because I don't know, when I first started out, I didn't know what type of brushes to buy. I didn't know what brush did what. I was new to concealer, believe it or not, because back in the day when I used to wear makeup, I didn't have to wear concealer. But now, you know, it's so many different makeup products and there's brushes to, you know, handle each step in the makeup routine. So having something that comes in a really nice set, you know, makes all the difference in the world. It takes the stress and time out of buying a brush set so this is a really good set definitely check it out so guys if you like the video if you really like you know enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button if you didn't like it you can hit the thumbs down button it's okay if you like my makeup my face today leave me a comment down below and let me know because i really like it but if you don't like it you think she does too much she doesn't do enough it's awful you can let me know that down below too let me know okay um but yeah most importantly hit that subscribe button y'all i'm trying to grow my channel in 2024 so if you hit the subscribe button watch the video from beginning to end hit the notification bell that'll let you know when i upload my next video because i'm gonna do my part and be more consistent in 2024 because i love playing in makeup i love trying out new products i love trying out new techniques uh new looks i love playing with different colors and stuff so yeah that's what we're doing over here so if that sounds good to you do all things all of the things i just asked and i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video